Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a 52-year-old male who has complaints of shoulder pain. He plays basketball, and on his MRI scan, we see that he has one main finding. This is a coronal view. We're looking straight at the shoulder. We see the humeral head, neck, shaft here to get oriented. This is a cup called the glenoid, which is part of this big bone, the scapula. It forms a cup here, and around the rim of the cup, we should see a little black triangle called the labrum. Right here is the labrum superior labrum this is the inferior labrum you can see how the inferior labrum is a little black triangle and it's right closely approximated to the bone but the superior labrum looks like it is torn off of the periosteum and elevated and there's some fluid undercuttings this is a tear of the superior labrum in this patient and it's uplifted this looks like a nice fairly well-defined tear it's not complex the surgeons like to know is it a complex tear are they going to get in there and see something that's uh, very irregular and they need to remove it or is it more of a simple tear where they can go in and possibly sew it back down and uh, this one is uh, not frayed or com uh, that complex but it is uplifted and I always like to tell them how thick it is and from top to bottom so this looks, looks like it's more um, than 50%, so maybe 50 to 60% vertical thickness, and the tear is uplifted along the inferior margin. And this thing coming across here, this is part of the biceps tendon. The biceps wraps around here, comes up, loops over, and comes over here, and the biceps label anchor is here. And that superior labrum and the biceps label anchor come together. So this is part of the biceps label anchor. So this is a very straightforward case of a tear of the superior labrum and it goes from the front this is the front and this is the back so it goes from the front let me go here to all the way to the back so from anterior to posterior here's the middle 12 o'clock position now we're going more posterior and we're going to see that all the way back down over here you see a little blip of brightness as part of that tear so a superior labral tear from anterior to posterior so we call this a slap tear s-l-a-p tear, a superior labral tear from anterior to posterior. We have another view here where we can see the same thing. On this view we're going to go up into the middle of the joint and we're going to see the anterior labrum, that little black triangle. You can see how closely approximated to the bone it is here. Here's the posterior labrum, a little triangle, anterior labrum. As we go up to the top we see this bright band. This is that fluid that's going between the torn labrum over here and then the periosteum of the um, glenoid here. So a superior label tear from anterior to posterior, slap tear in this 52-year-old man. Thank you very much.